Hi, everyone welcome to Microbiology Note. In this video, we will discuss tissue engineering. First of all, we have to know what is tissue engineering. Tissue engineering is an interdisciplinary field that applies the principles of engineering and life sciences towards the development of biological substitutes that restore, maintain, or improve tissue function or a whole organ. Steps of Tissue Engineering There are five important steps of tissue engineering such as In the first step, the cells are isolated from the patient's body. In the second step, the isolated cells are expanded in laboratory. In the next step, once we have enough number of cells, they can be seeded into a well-defined scaffold. The nature of the scaffold depends on tissue type, it can be porous or injectable. In the fourth step, the cells are further cultured in vitro in a bioreactor or incubator. In the fifth and final step, when the construct is matured enough, it can be implanted in the area of defect in patient's body either by transplantation, like surgery, or by direct injection. Three tools used for tissue culture. Cells. Signals, which are provided chemically by growth factors or physically by a bioreactor. And the scaffold, it acts as a template for tissue formation by allowing cells to migrate, adhere, and produce tissue. Cells are the living part of tissue, which produces protein and provides function of cells and also gives tissue reparative properties. Cell signaling tell the cell what to do and also helps in proteins or mechanical stimulation. Scaffold provides structural support and shape to construct, also provides place for cell attachment and growth. It is usually biodegradable and biocompatible. Now, we will discuss about the sources of cells for tissue engineering. Mainly stem cells such as embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells serve as the primary instrument of tissue engineering. The sources of cells is classified into four categories based on their origin such as Autologous cells These cells are come from the person that needs the new cells. Allogenic cells These cells are come from a body from the same species. Xenogenic cells come from a different species than the organism they are going into. Isogenic or syngenic cells. These cells are come from identical twins. Let's check the diagram of both autologous stem cell and allogenic stem cell transplant. An autologous stem cell transplant uses healthy blood stem cells from your own body to replace your diseased or damaged bone marrow. An autologous stem cell transplant is also called an autologous bone marrow transplant. Using cells from your own body during your stem cell transplant offers some advantages over stem cells from a donor. For example, you don't need to worry about incompatibility between the donor's cells and your own cells if you have an autologous stem cell transplant. Allogenic stem cell transplantation involves transferring the stem cells from a healthy person to the patient's body after high-intensity chemotherapy or radiation. The donated stem cells can come from either a related or an unrelated donor.